Hi guys, back with me, Aji Kunyawan Yusuf. In the previous video, you have learned about how to calculate capital budgeting tools using MPV, payback period, also discounted payback period. In this video, we're gonna continue with two other capital budgeting tools. IRR, internal rate of return, and also MIRR, modified internal rate of return. Internal rate of return. Internal rate of return or IRR tells us about the investor prospected return when taking the project. So, if the IRR is higher than our expected return or higher than the weighted average cost of capital or WACC, we can accept the project. One more time, if the IRR is higher than expected return or WACC, we can accept the project. Basically, IRR is the discount rate that makes the NPV equals to zero. So one more time, IRR is the discount rate that makes the NPV equals to zero. If I write in the formula, zero equals to cash flow in year zero plus cash flow year one divided by one plus IRR to the power of one plus cash flow year two divided by one plus IRR to the power of two and so on up to cash flow year n divided by one plus IRR to the power of n. Hmm, it looks complicated. Then how to find the IRR? Basically, there are several ways to find the IRR. You can use financial calculator or you can use Microsoft Excel. But if you don't have both, you can calculate it manually using interpolation. The result is not 100% accurate, but it is close to the real IRR. In this video, we're gonna learn how to calculate IRR using interpolation. For using the financial calculator and also Microsoft Excel, I will cover in the next video. This is the step to calculate IRR using interpolation. First is that we have to calculate 2i, one cause the NPV positive, and the other i cause the NPV negative. After that, we input it into interpolation formula as mentioned here. Okay, if you are confused directly, try the exercise. The first step is that find 2i, 1 cos NPV positive, and 1 cos NPV negative. In the previous video, previous NPV calculation, we used 10% WACC, and it result to the positive NPV, $18.78. It means now we have to find the other i that cos NPV negative. The NPV will be lower when the I is increasing. It means you have to try the higher I to find the negative NPV. Okay, let's try if the I is 20%. If the I is 20%, we can find using NPV formula, the NPV will be minus $3.7. It has been negative. So we will use these two numbers, 10%. WACC result to the positive NPV 18.78 while if the I is 20%, the NPV will be minus $3.7. Second step is that in putting into the formula, the smaller I is the smaller WACC, it is 10%, the NPV 18.78 and the larger I, the higher WACC, it is 20%, the NPV minus 3.7. Just input to the formula, so smaller i 10% plus NPV small i is 18.78 divided by NPV small i 18.78 minus NPV large i, so minus minus 3.7. Later on, it will become positive because minus multiplied by minus times difference of i, it means 20% minus 10%. So we can find the IRR equals to 18.35%. As we see here, the IRR is larger than WACC. It means we can accept the project. 
The last one is MIRR or Modified Internal Rate of Return. So basically, MIRR is to overcome the multiple IRR problem. MIRR formula is root level N of future value inflow divided by present value outflow minus 1. In this case, year 0 is negative, so year 0 is the outflow. While year 1, year 2, and also year 3 is positive, it means it is inflow. Now let's calculate first the future value of inflow. It means we have to calculate future value in year 3. As we know, future value equals to present value times 1 plus i to the power of n. It means future value in year 3 is directly 80. Future value in year 2 equals to 60 times 1 plus the WACC, 10% to the power of 1 because the difference between year 3 and also year 2 is 1 year. It equals to 66. While well, future value of $10 in year 1 equals to $10 times 1 plus 10% to the power of 2 because the difference between year 3 and also year 1 is 2 years. It equals to $12.1. If we calculate 80 plus 66 plus 12.1, it equals to 158.1. It is the future value of inflow. Year 0 is the outflow. We have to calculate the present value of the outflow. As we know that present value equals to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power of n. It means minus 100 divided by 1 plus 10% to the power of 0. We can find the present value of outflow is minus 100. So because the n is 3, there are 3 years, MIRR equals to the cube root of future value of inflow, it is 158.1 that we have calculated before, divided by present value of outflow, it is 100. Make it into positive, yeah? And then don't forget to minus with 1. It equals to 16.5%. As we see here that the MIRR is higher than WACC, it means that we can accept the project. Wow, you have learned about all capital budgeting tools. Now, if I ask you, which capital budgeting tools is the most powerful one? One will say NBV is better, while the other may say that IRR is better. Basically, NBV is considered as better measure of the profitability of investment rather than IRR because it considers different discount rate for the same project and also take into account cost of capital. While IRR is more used by business manager as it is better to understand the concept of return stated in percentage. So after this, if you become the manager or director or the owner of the company, you can decide which investment that you should accept or you should reject.